Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. The following contest is a triple threat match and it's for the Raw Women's Championship. Introducing the Liv challenger Morgan, Ruby Riot, Sarah from Logan, Elmwood the Riot Park, Squad made a Jersey. shocking debut Liv back in 2017, Morgan. attacking many of the women in the SmackDown Live locker room, and they've gone on to great success in WWE. Oh, Liv Morgan and her partners in crime would love to turn any situation on its head. Oh, you're looking at the future right here. And introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey, Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. The Irish last kicker. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland. Go ahead, Byron, get head over heels. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. And here we go with this triple threat match. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. What a hurricanrana. This might be it. Oh, my. see her losing in such a definitive manner right now. You gotta believe this one's over. This might be it. Oh my. Nailed it. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. Oh, the arm's trapped. Serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. So 
circumstances create interesting alliances, and the numbers game can become your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for it. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Oh, shoulder tackle. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would work together to perform a double dive off the barricade that put Corbin through the Spanish announce table. And that's exactly what a superstar always needs to have in the back of their mind. That it's, she might have it. I think she's trying to prove a point. Technique. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Oh, man. Oh, what impact. Suplex. There it is. Exploder suplex. She's still in this one. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Got the disarmor. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Irish whip. And no luck against Bianca Belair there. I've seen some unique offenses over the years, Byron, but perhaps the most unique thing I've ever seen is when Bianca whips her opponents with her own hair. I have never seen anything like it, Michael. But I'll tell you what, if I was to give advice to anyone facing Bianca, it would be to turn the tables against her. Go ahead and whip her with her own hair. Ooh, what impact. Will she win it here? Big time slam. Vicious. A hey, kick out. This one's not over yet. Too soon. To your point about Bianca Belair, big move coming. <laughs> And again, can she keep her down? No luck against Bianca Belair there. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. Momentum doesn't appear to be on the challenger. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. A oh, quick kick out from Liv Morgan. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Well, nasty fall. Double underhook applied. Up and harsh impact. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Can she end it here? And she kicks out at two. Wow, what's it going to take? Look at her go. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. What a stomp. Good grief. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. And again, unbelievable. You don't see that every day. Got the disarmor. And Becky Lynch remains champion. Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Who can forget this? That's a woman on a mission. Man, this was great. And that's exactly how she wanted to end this thing.
Guys, I don't think there was any other alternative but the tap there. Three competitors walked in with legitimate chances of winning, but in the end, only one showed the resolve and the willingness to do anything necessary to pick up the win. And folks, as a reminder, the action tonight is coming to you from one of the greatest wrestling hotbeds of all time, Minneapolis, Minnesota.